So we have a data set here and we want to find if there are any outliers. Um, so this one's already in order and it might look a little more complicated because it's got decimals, but it's really not any more complicated than any of the others. It has 15 data points in it uh, and they're already in order, which makes it easy. So let's just figure out what the median is, right? So if we had 15 data points, that means we could have seven below and seven above and then this middle number, right? That would be seven and seven is 14 and that middle number would be 15. So we can just count up to the eighth term, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 14.6 is our eighth term, which means that's our median. And now we've just split the data into a, top, a bottom half. I always call that the top half for some reason and the top half. Okay, so we have the bottom half, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exactly what we wanted. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect. Now let's find quartile one. So what's the middle number of this data set? Well, if we had three below and three above, this 14.4 would be our quartile one. And then same here, one, two, three, and this 14.9 would be our quartile three. So our five number summary, which helps us draw a box plot. And I really should, um, I know I just like sketch them really quick. But let me go ahead and do an actual, like this is 10 and this is 17. Um, so our min is 10.2 and then we're somewhere about here and then about here and then about here. Okay, I didn't do it exactly, but it was closer than it would have been if I hadn't. Okay, so here's our box plot. And what we're trying to do, remember, is we're trying to figure out if any of these are outliers. So we're trying to figure out how far away they are from this middle 50%. The main bit of the data is in the middle here, and we want to figure out how far it is from, um, like, if anything is too far away this way or too far away this way. So first we've got to find our interquartile range. So quartile 3 is 14.9, and quartile 1 is 14.4. So if I subtract those, then my interquartile range is 0 0.5. So this is actually like lots of our data is squished in the middle and then we have some little outliers, well I shouldn't say outliers, some little things hanging out in the outsides, right? So look, I mean really look at this, all of our data is basically in the 14 range and we've got just these little extra pieces here that just don't, we don't know if they belong, if they're outliers or not. So all of our data is squished and then we've got these tiny little, you know, a few out here. So let's figure out if any of these are actually outliers. So remember, we take our interquartile range and we multiply it by 1.5. So if I take 0.5 times 1.5, then that's 0.75, right? Because it's like one and a half times 0.5. So one and a half times my interquartile range is 0.75. So what this tells me is if a data point is 0.75 above 14.9, or 0.75 below 14.4, then it is considered an outlier. So 14.9 plus 0.75 gives us 15.65. So if I go to here at 15.65, I've now anything above that number is considered an outlier. And then if I go this way, 14.4 minus 0.75, right? So we're going down. This is going to be 13.65. Sorry, that's really messy. Let's try that again. 13.65. So what I'm telling you is anything below 13.65 is an outlier as well. So which ones of our data points are outliers? So this is below 13.65. Let's actually do that in a different color. This is below 13.65, and this is above 15.65, and this is above 15.65. So all three of these ones that I circled in red, those are considered outliers because they are more than one and a half times the interquartile range away from our quartiles.